Hi, this is Peter Reznicek from ShadowTrader.net, and this is a short instructional video that is going to show you how to insert and customize the Value Area and Pivots Think Script into your Quad and Thinkorswim chart. So, starting with your Quad that you see in front of you, we're going to be focusing on the bottom right chart here, which should be your S&P Futures chart. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the Value Area Think Script into this particular chart. Uh, so first thing we have to do first is get it. So obviously we're going to go to shadowtrader.net and we're going to click on premium services. And we are going to come down to think scripts and we are going to click on the value areas and pivots. We'll go to the more details and that will bring it up right here. And our script is right down in here. So we're going to put move this right to here so we can just grab it and we will left click with our mouse and just grab everything here, go to the bottom of the screen, let it scroll, let it scroll, go all the way to the bottom, make sure you get everything. This is a pretty long script. Just kind of hold the mouse button down, the left one, oops, and we want to go right to there. And right click and copy. And now that we've got the script copied to the clipboard, we don't need the site anymore, so we'll just minimize that. Going into the futures chart, click here on the price, maximize the cell, that makes the studies button here easier to find, and click on edit studies. That's going to open up the edit studies and strategies box, whereupon you will select new. It's the button right here in the center on the left hand side. New will open up the ThinkScript editor. Click here and delete this first default line of code and then paste by either pressing control V on your keyboard or right click and select paste and that'll put it right in there and as always if you have a bunch of different colors purple green etc you've done it right if all of if there's the purple and green here so seeing that it looks like we've done it right up here in the top give it a name and we'll call this one uh, VA I'll call it VA underscore pivots and we're going to go OK. And you can see that that puts it right up in here and it's also going to be listed right down in here in your list of studies. Um, it's capital so I guess it's going to be a little bit higher here. VA, let's see here. There we go. VA pivots. So it's, it's going to be in your list there. Um, now the first thing you have to do is you have to customize it obviously because you want to put in your value areas and the pivot point. So how this how this works is what this thing script does is it's going to paint the value area on your chart that you're going to need. You're going to take the uh, value area high, value area low, and the point of control from the prior day. And I'll show you how to get that. You're going to put that into the script. And then you're also going to put the pivot point into the script. And then the script is going to calculate the support uh, and resistance levels, the shadow trader pivots automatically for you. You don't have to do that. So it'll do that for you, but you do have to just put in the pivot point in order for that to do that. So let's click on the little gear here, and that's going to bring up the customizing thing here. Um, and from the default of whenever this was saved, obviously some data is already in here. So we need to get this data out and put in our own value area high, point of control, value area low, and pivot here. So where do we get that? Obviously, we get that every day for free from shadowtrader.net. So if you click on here and go back to home, if you read my blog every morning, you just go to the home page, you click on blog here, and every day you get the blog post. There's always a paragraph here on top that has a hot link here that says here. Notice market profile value areas and POC figures for the current futures are posted free every morning right here at the hot link. So you click on the hot link and the hot link of course takes you to the my trade page and normally this will be the topmost post. If it's not, remember the posts are all here on the left. So let's say you come here and it happens to look like this and you've got a newsletter there but you want the pivot points just selected here. You see here market profile pivots for Tuesday. So I'm recording this on a Tuesday uh, in the evening. The market is actually already closed so these this would have already come out on late uh, Monday night. Usually this, this is posted by about 9 or 10 p.m. Eastern. But regardless, you notice in the top here, 
And we're going to do it for the ES. You have 21.46.50, 21.44.50, 21.43.50, and the pivot is 21.44.58. So I'm just going to write those down, 21.44.58. And then once you're done with that, you don't need this page anymore. So you've got your numbers here, and basically you just punch them in here. So 2146.50 is the value area high. The point of control is 2144.50. The value area low is 214350. And the pivot, as we said, was 2144.58. Now, if you want, you can adjust this to the nearest quarter if you like. You can put this as 214450, whatever you like, you know. So let's let's put it uh, 50 if you like to do that. Alright, now let's look at some of the other customization here. So Auto pivots, yes, means that it's going to automatically calculate the pivots, right? Uh, you can choose whether or not you want to show the pivot point on the chart, yes or no. I like to do no. I don't like to look at the pivot point. Do you want to show level four? That means in the Shadow Trader uh, pivots, do you want it to calculate all the way out to level four? I say no. Uh, pivot bubbles, that'll show little bubbles uh, in the pivots that give the, uh, whether it's S1, S2 or whatnot, value area bubbles, I keep that as a yes, that'll also show me a little bubble to say, uh, you know, next to the value area, you'll see in a moment. The plot start time, uh, it defaults here to 5.30 in the morning, I like to put 8 a.m., so you put 800 there. Show cloud, yes or no, that means do you want to see the cloudy area inside of in between value area high and value area low? I like to do that. I like to have it kind of cloudy so when the price goes into it, it you know, I can see that it's going into the value area. Uh, cloud open only, uh, I always say no because I want it to show the cloud for the entire day. All right. Um, here you can enter in virgin points of control if you like, so you can put... Um, up to six VPOX, which is nice. So if you're the type of futures trader that likes to keep track of virgin points of control, you can punch them in right here and they'll they'll show up on the chart. Um, and here is whichever support and resistance levels you want turned on and off. It defaults all to yes. I don't like to use S1 and R1. So for what I do is for S1, I put no. And for R1, I tend to put no. If you want to show them all, just leave them all as yes. And here at the bottom, ORB, that stands for opening range uh, bar. And basically what it can do is if you have it set to yes, it can highlight like the first 30 minutes of trade, the first 15 minutes of trade, whatever you like. It can highlight the opening range according to this here, whatever, whatever time frame you put in. Okay, So those are the changes that I like to make. That's the way I like mine to be. And now that I've got it how I want it, you just click OK and then click Apply. And OK, and you can see here, there's your value area. So again, I'm recording this on a Tuesday night. This action here is already all of Tuesday's trade. Uh, I don't have the numbers yet uh, on the website for Wednesday, so I'm just using the day before's. And here's the value area. So this would have been the value area that you would have used for this particular day's trade. And then, as I showed you earlier, I have R2 and R3 turned on. I have S2 and S3 turned on. I have the value area cloud turned on starting at 8 a.m. You can see here is 8 a.m. So the cloud starts at 8 a.m. And I have cloud open uh, turned off, meaning that I want to show the value area for the whole day. The yellow line in between here is the point of control, right? And here are the bubbles. Here's the value area bubbles where it says yes or no, show bubbles. Those are the bubbles it's talking about. You can toggle on and off whether you want to show these large price bubbles. You can toggle on and off if you want to see these bubbles here. Uh, yes or no as well, which is the uh, the support or resistance um, levels. All right, so that's that. Uh, in, in the next day's trade, you'll basically do the same exact thing. You'll go back in, you'll change the value area high level, the value area low level in the POC. You'll change the pivot and it'll recalculate the pivots and then you'll get the cloud uh, for the next day. All right, as always, I always like to remind people at the end of these installation videos that if you want to make sure that all this gets saved, uh, you would click in here and you would do save grid as and you would enter in a name here and you would save your layout and that'll save all of this with those studies already um, in there. So you'll be good to go if ever you change your quad or you just move to a different layout and you want to go back to your quad screen that has all the same um, stuff there. All right. Um, so that's it. That's how you install the value area and pivots think script on your Thinkorswim platform.